that. Look at that polish. <gasps> Currently they are calibrating the acoustic Doppler current profiler. And it is not an easy thing to do, folks. <laughs> All right, watch for Jack coming through. This is inertial motion unit. So basically what it does, it's, um, it calculates the heave, pitch and roll of the boat and direction of the boat and yaw and everything else. Break time. Getting the lab sorted. Constantine. Seems like uh, an endless yeah. process. One task at a time. More? No, no. Look at that. Nicely done. One button. Just holding this. Ready. Don't pull. <laughs> you don't have the light. Put it down. Put it down. Yeah, it's a bad. I got a. <clears throat> like working? <laughs> That's you working? Well, we've left Woods Hole. Basically motoring through the fog, uh, as you can see. Yeah. Thanks, Kaz. I'll handle this. Uh, we're headed out north of Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket, through the shoals, through the narrows, through the shallows, to make our way into the great wide open spaces of the Atlantic. Well, we're doing our first CCD cast of tours right off the shelf break here in New England. And uh, so first time testing the whole procedure while underway. Spicy? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, my tongue is like ugh, sizzling. Ooh, danger, danger. Okay, so what do we got to do? We just uh, slow the boat. Slow the boat and the rest. Do we throw the jib in? All right, we can drop speed. Yeah. Okay, Nicole. Science. <laughs> Approaching the Gulf, the Gulf Stream, <laughs> and we want to know how fast it is moving. So as we get closer to the meander of the Gulf Stream, that's what we're that's what we're here to track. So we are at this exact spot where we, where we need to be. Yes. Where are we located? Here. And where is here? Uh, good question. I think we're at. You know, Calvin Seamount in the Gulf Stream. We've got two gliders here from Team C2PO. These gentle, fine gentlemen right here. Oh, yeah. Preparing our gliders okay. today, and we'll be de deploying them imminently. All right, so we just had a squall roll through, which kind of calmed things down for us. So the move here is to try and stabilize our platform as best we can. So if you turn around, you can see that we are hove to. We have our staysail back winded. We've got our mainsail up. We're going to be using the aft boom as a crane to lower the actual glider in the water. We've got a real steady platform. We still do have three foot swell, but you almost wouldn't know it. <laughs> Nice and slow, nice and slow. Alright, let her go. Let her go? Yep. Three. She's free. Yeah. Awesome. Ready for her voyage All right, so to the bottom of the up. ocean. Oh, you can. Let me know when. Okay, hold there, man. Alright, Kaz, take in a little. Okay, slowly, slowly, slowly.
Guess we get our ration of rum tonight, don't we, Skip? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> All right, good job, guys. Nice. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Uh, where you're at. Uh, we don't have the other sail to heave to right now, but this will balance us out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just thinking because the boom, I mean, it's going up, which is going to try and pull this thing in. But if we're the other side, all right, let me do it. Be the <laughs> <laughs> okay, but hey guys, I'm up low. Just in time, it's getting dark. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah. Hey, this better not go on YouTube. <laughs> About two and a half days ago, we arrived to Calvin and the Atlantis 2 Seamounts. We were able to deploy our underwater vehicles, do some CTDs in the local area, and now the other vessels have arrived. So we have the Endeavor, we have the Roger Ravel. Got four gliders with the four data streams. All right. They're all working. Happy glider. Super stoked. God, yeah, we're going to learn how to cook, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna rebuttal that? It's a matatouille. That's it's delicious. There. This is what you were gonna make originally. Yeah. <laughs> and so now we are preparing to do a bunch of CTDs just south of the Kelvin Seamount. And we have a beautiful day, the sailing is great. I need cool air. Cool air, please. And he's always got a fan attached to him. Yeah, it's lightning. Lightning. Lightning in the center, in the center. That's a big squall. Yeah, I think bigger. We are in the middle of fleet operations. We've got a ship to starboard in port of us. In the darkness, in the darkness. And we are conducting a profile of the water column, of the salinity and the temperature which is really important to what these ships are doing on either side of us. Your rock soup. It's a spoon and a fork. Oh, well in America we have sporks. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are on uh, a rescue mission for one of our gliders that has um, spawned a leak. And we sailed overnight last night, as you guessed at her, pretty far east. Um, along the New England Seamount. Once the, the glider is streaming behind us, when we have Dong Lei back on the deck and out of the bosun's chair, then we'll resituate for the pull-up maneuver. Come over to port about 10 degrees, about 50 feet. There we go, hold that straight there. Now let's get on the ladder. You got it? Going. Stop! Stop! Uh, Ready? Yep. Alright. Okay. Antenna folded. Alright. Alright. That's right. So we should put this probably on the yeah. on Alsamar. Yeah. Okay. So do we want to put that in the box I, I already? Think we, I think in and the box. Put, put it yeah. in. Lower it. Yeah. Okay. Looking for the elusive glider. There is the glider. I can't even see, barely see it with the zoom lens.
Yeah, so we're tracking the Gulf Stream as we're moving along with the boat by collecting temperature and salinity. With an instrument right here in the lab, the thermosalinograph, water's being pumped through, and we're plotting the data over 24 hours and seeing the change in salinity and temperature. Okay, copy that. Thank you very much. Uh, Marie Tharp standing by. The leg is hot. It's wrapped, wrapped the leg is hot. Well, you continue to make us bash into it when we could obviously be doing anything else. Rutherford. Well, currently we're positioning ourselves for our final drop of the gliders come into a bit of weather out here. It's not too bad. Occasional 10 foot swell. We have to keep hard on it though. We want to make our mark. This is going to be our second deployment site for the gliders on the west side of the Kelvin Seamount. All of the gliders have been redeployed uh, except for the broken one and the one that we have to get tomorrow morning. We're doing a final line of CTDs working with the other research vessels and we're starting to wrap things up. For tonight's dish we are going to have a red curry with a influence of Beyond Meat slime, <laughs> some white Vidalia onion, Woo! Some frozen ass veggies that I did my best to breathe life back into. But the curry paste is straight out of Thailand, so it's gonna be good. Smells amazing. I always smell amazing, Drew. Well, the food is the food, the food is, does too. Yes. Yes, thank you. Alright. The final one. Oops. Well, it's been fun. We've wrapped it up, we have the glider on the boat, and we're headed back to shore. All right, so we are gonna start off with very light winds, then it's gonna build. I think we need to probably go a little more north than this, well, initially it's gonna be behind us, then it's going to swing around. We should probably go a little more north than this is showing. Beautiful island of Nantucket. It's nice. been three weeks. Uh, I think since we've seen land and uh, we're coming in through the fog. Feels pretty good. Never been here before. So well, I can smell the land and I can smell fish and chips. Ooh, is that what you, what you crave? Is that your desire? And a, and a pint of beer. Okay. Adventure might be over for some of us. But you guys are headed back out. Good luck. <laughs> 